Hello, welcome to Motorcycle Island. It's the latest episode. I'm Michael Mann for Bike Social. And we film on the Isle of Man. Well, you might have seen in the previous episode, we've done the top 10 motorcycle friendly cafes, for example. We've interviewed Glenn Irwin and John McGuinness. But in this episode, we're going to be looking at the best roads that the island has to offer. But the caveat there is we cannot use the TT mountain course. So we're going to go north, south, east and west, and we've canvassed the opinions of the Bike Social members who live here. Uh, so, well, who better to trust than the locals, of course, for their uh, theories and thoughts on the uh, best roads that the island has to offer. We might even meet one or two of them along the way. I also have to give uh, immense thanks to Honda Motorcycles UK, not only for supporting us with this video, but for also for loaning me these uh, Africa Twin Adventure Sports on which I am sitting. But what makes a best road, a quality road, a top road? I think it will all depend on what you're riding, perhaps, subjectively. I mean, if you were on a, an Africa Twin, if you were on a, a Goldwing, if you were on a, a Fireblade or a, a, an XADV, your opinions on what makes, what makes a, a best road uh, might be different, because, you know, whether it depends on scenery, whether it depends on road surface quality, twists, turns, speed, whatever you enjoy. And in this video, we're gonna see a real cross-section of everything the Isle of Man has to offer. How about this for a bit of scenery for our first road? It's a Thalty Will Road from two points on the TT course. Okay, we're not using the TT course, but we've got Solby behind us and we're going up towards the bungalow, right through the heart of the island. We've categorized these roads in no particular order, so it's not like a best is first. Let's go. The Solby Strait might be one of the fastest sections of the TT course, but if you turn right halfway along it at the crossroads with the A14, then head south up towards the bungalow, you'll start by following the Solby River through a luscious green valley on a narrow yet smooth road with dry stone walls either side and over cattle grids. Then, after a couple of tight hairpins as the road gets higher and higher, you end up on a fast flowing mountain section with open corners as you head towards the bungalow. The next route on our list brings us here to Castletown. And while we said no TT roads, we didn't say anything about the other road racing courses here. This is the Southern 100 course. Anyway, this uh, particular route is 11 miles long. It takes us from here in Castletown, the ancient capital. It takes us towards Douglas, the new capital. So rather than taking the fastest route as a crow flies from Castletown to Douglas, we're gonna go off uh, the old Castletown road and we're gonna go via Port Soderick to take in a bit more of the views you can see over the sea. So yeah, let's go. In the southeast of the island from the capital Douglas, we travel towards Castletown in the direction of the Ronalds Way Airport. However, we ride the 11 mile road via Port Soderick on the old Castletown road that runs parallel to the busier A5. Take in some of the super scenery overlooking the sea on the south of the island. You get a mixture of wide open views and roads covered by trees with plenty of undulation too that demonstrates the ruralness of the island. Though we have to say this particular road is not exactly sports bike friendly. What is more akin to sportier bikes is the section from Balasala to Castletown, which takes in a portion of the Southern 100 course.
Uh, this road is on the inside of the TT course and it's from Braddon Bridge, which is about two miles into the course from the start line, which is behind me, north of Douglas. And we come up this road about 13 miles in total up towards Balaf, Balaf Bridge. And uh, we follow this sort of single track, beautiful road. And you can see behind me the reservoir, it's called the West Baldwin Reservoir. Well, this is called the West Baldwin Road. And we get a bit further that way and we get to the crossroads with the Druidale Road. And from there, you've got options. But for this particular section, as you can see, there's some glorious views over the reservoir before climbing, 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 initially through a narrow tree-covered section, followed by a couple of tight hairpins, and then out to take in the wider scenes up on the moorland, all in one road. To this junction here between the West Baldwin Road, the Druidale Road, are where two of our routes intersect. So we've come back from Braddon over that narrow road, the moorland, the West Baldwin Road down here. You come around this hairpin, you can carry on. You've got two options this way. You can either go to Brandywell or you can go to Balaf Bridge. Head off towards Brandywell and you'll be greeted with one of the most sensational roads on the island. It's quiet, beautifully smooth and so high that you can see for miles, though it can get a little breezy. Or there's the road towards Balaf. It's tighter, twistier, but the challenge of staying alert to the road conditions is easily rewarded. So next on our list is Peel down to Colby and you join me here in Peel Bay. You've got Peel Castle over my shoulder here. This gorgeous fishing town on the west coast of the island. Now Peel down to Colby is the route that we're going to be looking at, though we're going to stop at a junction known locally as the Round Table and there's several different variations of the routes that we can take there. Joining me now, Bike Social member, Jim. Well, Jim, thank you so much for joining me. First of all, this is your FJR, isn't it, right here? Yes, yes, this is my FJR, a 2016 model. And you use it to gallivant around the island, do you? And commute to work as well, so I, I use it every day. So this particular road, and we, I already mentioned there's sort of several variations and permutations of how we can get from A to B and we can use different uh, routes and roads. But, but tell me, first of all, about this sort of section from Peel. Why is it such a good, you know, a, a, a good road? Um, it's a lovely road, it's down the coast road, you're following the coast down towards uh, Glen, uh, Glen May and then out through Dolby. Mm. Some really technical sections on there, there's some really tight high hairpins and some nidgery nadgery little bits and pieces. And then when you get up out through Dolby, the views going out looking down south towards the Carfer Man are pretty spectacular. And then it takes you right up to the house, as you just said, to the place known as the Round Table, the crossroads up there. It has a little bit of everything on this, this section of the road, yeah. Great, well let's get our helmets on and go and have a look, shall we? Look lovely, great. This road actually crosses the one we've just ridden and it's equally as stunning. From the gorgeous fishing port on the west coast of the island, we head south along the sometimes twisty coast road through Glen May and Dolby, before heading inland towards the Glen Russian Plantation and over the slop road at the Round Table Crossroads. I've stopped at this crossroads, it's known locally as the Round Table, and we've come up from Peel, we're heading towards Colby, and then down this way is Foxdale, and up there is Port Erin, and it's an opportunity for me to say that you can mix and match your routes. There's some great loops that you can do using all of the roads that we're, we're talking about in this video. So yeah, I can pick and mix. Just choose whichever one you fancy. Plenty of greenery and next to no traffic will make this feel like a calm saunter rather than a flat out blast. It's narrow in places, but with a big sky and wide open fields on either side of the dry stone walls as you head towards the village of Colby. While in this film we're not really going to put the roads in order of their popularity, there was one distinct clear favourite, and that's this one. It's the A36, it's known locally as the Slock, and it runs from here in the South Barul Plantation near Foxdale, nine and a half miles that way towards Port Erin. 
and we cross over a crossroads known as the round table and you can peel off, oh, to peel. So you can really make some variations of this particular road, but it's beautifully tarmacked, it's very smooth and you've got this sort of canopy of forest and then you've got some big wide open plains with some incredible vistas, some wonderful scenery. Uh, let's go and have a look, shall we? We start in South Barul Forest Park and the Eight Man Adventure Park. But we're here to discover the nine and a half mile stretch of gorgeously smooth A36, known locally as the Slock Road. You start in the forest, aka plantation, before heading out into a wide expanse of what looks like Yorkshire, where you'll find roads in great condition and the scenery to surpass any other. The road straightens as you pass the round table crossroads before the spectacular set of bends as you close in on the west coast. The bay, the beach and tall surrounding cliffs make it popular with fishermen and water sports enthusiasts. We're back in Peel for the next route on our roundabout trip of the Isle of Man and we're facing in the opposite direction because we're going to follow the west coast up towards Kirkmichael. It's a six and a half mile coastal road and it was part of the original TT course in 1907. There you are, fact of the day. Um, joining me now, James Smith. James, thanks so much for joining me. You've been a Bike Social member of Bennett's customer for how long now? Since I was 16, I'm 30 now, so 14 years. Oh, good job. You're like part of the clan. Oh, no, I know. Long time <laughs> customer. And you're quite a racy, a sporty guy, aren't you? You've got a, what, 600 Anstey rep here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the old GSXR 600. I swapped it for my old, um, I had Prilly RSV Milli R, and uh, I wanted to get something sporty again, something I can uh, proper twist on in the corners, so. Does that mean you race? I've dabbled. <laughs> I've, had, uh, I've done a few little bits and bobs, yeah, yeah, yeah. You done the TT? Uh, Grand Prix, 700, Scarborough Gold Cup, and a few bits around uh, the UK, Cadwell and Anglesey. Um, uh, it's just amazing fun, and you know, I wouldn't be without a motorbike now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the spirit. Okay, so tell me about your choice here. So, appeal to Kurt Michael, it's the old TT course, we just established that, but tell me why you, you, you like it that much. This, this road here is, it's got everything you kind of want as a motorcyclist, especially with a sports bike. It's got your nice sweeping corners, it's got some tight corners, it's got Areas where you can uh, get the front wheel up if you want to. I'm not saying it's legal or anything, but you can do that. And um, you can see where you're going. The views are beautiful, and uh, it's just, it's, it's fantastic. You know, I can't wait, can't wait to show you it. Cool, let's go then. Up the west side of the island, running parallel with the coast, and only a six and a half mile ride, but so, so worth it. This was part of the original TT course in 1907, known as the St John's course. Once you climb up and out of Peel, the scenery opens up with rolling green fields of all shades to the right, and farmland plus a sea to your left. Halfway along, you could turn right, which would bring you out onto the Cronky Voddy Strait and onto the TT course. It's about approximately nine miles into the lap. Further along, and this is one of the more famous sections, and one to be wary of, it's a tight uphill chicane and hairpin all in one. It has a lay-by and picnic area on the outside nestled into the hills with views over the Irish Sea towards Northern Ireland. It's known as Devil's Elbow. The closer to Kurt Michael you get, the higher you seem to be with an even wider perspective of the west coast of the island. The A4 then joins the A3 at the village of Kirk Michael, and that's the TT course. The shortest route on our list is only three miles long and it starts from here, Port St Mary, a quiet quayside town with a beautiful little beach and a golf course. Only three miles, we go up and over a hill, down the other side, back behind me to the Sound Cafe at the southernmost tip of the island, which was voted for by our Isle of Man residents, our bike social members who live here as the best motorcycle cafe on the island. It 
it's the shortest route on our list, but one of the most dramatic in terms of scenery. From the quaint quayside village of Port St Mary with its chapel, beach, harbour, golf course and more, down to the southernmost tip of the Isle of Man and the Sound Cafe, with plenty of parking, ace ice creams and a view over to the Calf of Man, a 618 acre uninhabited island which is popular with seals and seabirds alike. The Sound was featured in our top 10 motorcycle friendly cafes on the island taking the top spot and you can see why. The road leading to the Sound is two way, reminds me of where Postman Pat comes from, Glendale I think it's called. It's not particularly wide so be careful of oncoming coaches full of tourists. Welcome now to one of the most iconic parts of the famous TT Mountain course, it's Balaf Bridge of course where they get airborne, it's the intersection of two of our routes here. So this is more evidence we're about mixing and matching up the routes. So we've already been on the inside of the TT course at the Druidel Road from Braddon to Balaf. And now we're at Balaf, we're going to go north around the Jerby Coast Road on the A10 up towards Bride. Let's go. But turn left at Balaf immediately after the bridge and follow the A10 through Balasala and Jerby which is home to the airfield and circuit, the motor museum, outdoor karting and the Isle of Man prison. Once you've chased the coast road all the way to Bride, then there's always the option of turning left and aiming for the Point of Air Lighthouse, just three further miles along. And that is the most northern point on the Isle of Man. On a clear day, you'll be able to see the Lake District in England to the east, to the north is Scotland and to the west is Northern Ireland. You might even catch a glimpse of the Belfast of Douglas Ferry. Back to Bride and you can continue on the A10 to Ramsey, the island's second largest town. So our final road is the longest at 20 miles. It links the two main towns here on the island of Ramsey and back down into the capital of Douglas. And it follows the east coast, uh, often known as the coast road. It's often used, especially during the TT, when the mountain road is closed. And look who's coming to join us again. James, you can't stay away, can no, you? No, I can't, I love it. Well, it's such a playground, isn't it? There's so many immense roads around here. Now, we're in your hood, aren't we? So, well, in fact, we're sort of slightly off the beaten track of what I talked about with the Ramsey to Douglas Road with in Mackold, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, tell, me, tell me more about this particular bit then, and also then the road over down, down to uh, Douglas. So, you've taken us on this nice little single, more of a single track road, but it's lovely, it's scenic. You've got North Brule in the background, like you say, it links onto the East Coast. Like, it's a lovely, windy little road, and it's going to join us on to, as you said before, one of the more popular roads that's used in the TT as a link road back up to Ramsey. Sure. And then between here and there, you've got the likes of what, Dune and Laxey? That's right, yeah. You've got Dune, Laxey. Dune uh, has got a lovely little cafe, a uh, really popular spot at the moment, a place called The Shed. Uh, you've got further along, heading towards Douglas, you've got Laxey. Lovely little cafes, nice place to stop, have a refreshment. And Laxey Wheel, of course. Uh, Laxey Fix, bit of a course. tourist destination. Absolutely, yeah. Cool, all right, less chat, more riding. Let's go, shall we? Sounds like a plan. A lengthy bit of road that links the two main towns on the Isle of Man, and the majority of this road, known as the A2, is the busiest during TT Fortnight if the mountain road is closed. It follows the east coast of the island, but several readers recommended the extra loop to take in Mickold on the northeastern point before rejoining the A2, just north of Dune and the beautiful Dune Beach. If you're not a fan of the narrower roads, then stick to the A2. Further on is Laxey and its famous water wheel. If you fancy another little detour, then turn right in Balacanal onto Church Road and head up the Craignabar back road to the Craig, one of the most famous parts of the TT course. Keep following the A2 and Douglas will come into sight and you'll end up joining the TT course at the roundabout between the Nook and Governor's Bridge at the very end of the lap. Even riding from one to the other in whichever direction could easily take 45 to 50 minutes, as opposed to the seven minutes for the TT superstars going over the A18 mountain road on a hot lap. 
There we have it the best roads on the Isle of Man that are not to do with the TT course, as voted for by the Bike Social members. Quite frankly, the entire island is a playground, a mecca for motorcycling. There are some stunning roads, there are some fabulous people, there's some incredible scenery, great places to eat and drink as well. Right now, I've got to get the ferry back to Liverpool, so I'm gonna hop on there. If you've got any thoughts, comments, queries, don't forget to put them in the comment section below. Perhaps you've got some roads that uh, you feel as though we've, we should have included. Um, thanks again. Thanks so much for joining me and we'll see you on the next episode of Motorcycle Island. Does it help if I turn that? Today, blah, 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 blah. Or turn left, turn right, and then you're left and down towards um, Forgotten. Brandywell. Let's go now before he turns around. Give me the clap. While in this film, we're not necessarily putting the order. There's not, there's not much more to say. One more, or is that okay? Yeah. Boxer twin, BMW, this. Oh, it's a Triumph, triple. Rocket 3, GT. I was wrong. Welcome to the next, <clears throat> and you caught it on camera that I was wrong. I'll say something like, well, uh, I'll make some questions. Brad, Balaf, Kurt Michael, brand new. Well, i tell you what, we've got it in, let me start again. Peel, road two, Peel to Colby. Cool. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful place. Ah, oh, start again. It was going well, wasn't it? Do you want me to just do what we did yesterday? I say, and joining me now, bike social member James Smith. Pause. I might start talking about, you know, what is a what is a best road. Yeah.